There are three classes of people, those who see, those who see when they are shown, and those who do not see. I have been impressed with the urgency of doing. Knowing is not enough, we must apply. Being willing is not enough, we must do. I love those who can smile in trouble, who can gather strength from distress and grow brave by reflection. Tis the business of little minds to shrink, but they whose heart is firm and whose conscience approves their conduct will pursue their principles unto death. Nature is the source of all true knowledge. She has her own logic, her own laws. She has no effect without cause, nor invention without necessity. Why does the eye see a thing more clearly in dreams than the imagination when awake? Experience never errs. It is only your judgments that err by promising themselves effects such as are not caused by your experiments. I have from an early age abjured the use of meat and the time will come when men such as I will look upon the murder of animals as they now look upon the murder of men. Nothing can be loved or hated unless it is first understood. As a well-spent day brings happy sleep, so life well used brings happy death. I thought I was learning to live. I was only learning to die. The greatest deception men suffer is from their own opinions. Principles for the development of a complete mind. Study the science of art. Study the art of science. Develop your senses, especially learn how to see. Realise that everything connects to everything else. Every now and then go away. Have a little relaxation, for when you come back to your work, your judgement will be surer. Go some distance away, because then the work appears smaller and more of it can be taken in at a glance, and a lack of harmony and proportion is more readily seen. Iron rusts from disuse, stagnant water loses its purity, and in cold weather becomes frozen. Even so does inaction sap the vigours of the mind. Make your work to be in keeping with your purpose. An average human looks without seeing, listens without hearing, touches without feeling, eats without tasting, moves without physical awareness, inhales without awareness of odour or fragrance, and talks without thinking. All our knowledge has its origin in our perceptions. Learn how to see. Realise that everything connects to everything else. Patience serves as a protection against wrongs as clothes do against cold. For if you put on more clothes as the cold increases, it will have no power to hurt you. So in like manner, you must grow in patience when you meet with great wrongs, and they will then be powerless to vex your mind. One has no right to love or hate anything if one has not acquired a thorough knowledge of its nature. Great love springs from great knowledge of the beloved object, and if you know it but little, you will be able to love it only a little or not at all. All sciences are vain and full of errors that are not born of experience, the mother of all knowledge. A poet knows he has achieved perfection, not when there is nothing left to add, but when there is nothing left to take away. Learning is the only thing the mind never exhausts, never fears and never regrets. He who possesses most must be most afraid of loss. He who loves practice without theory is like the sailor who boards ship without a rudder and compass and never knows where he may cast. Obstacles cannot crush me. Every obstacle yields to stern resolve. Wisdom is the daughter of experience. Anyone who conducts an argument by appealing to authority is not using his intelligence. He is just using his memory. 
The acquisition of knowledge is always of use to the intellect because it may thus drive out useless things and retain the good, for nothing can be loved or hated unless it is first known. Where the spirit does not work with the hand, there is no art. Art is the queen of all sciences, communicating knowledge to all the generations of the world. As every divided kingdom falls, so every mind divided between many studies confounds and saps itself. Truth at last cannot be hidden. Dissimulation is of no avail. Dissimulation is to no purpose before so great a judge. Falsehood puts on a mask. Nothing is hidden under the sun. In rivers, the water that you touch is the last of what has passed and the first of that which comes, so with present time. The painter will produce pictures of little merit if he takes the works of others as his standard. Many have made a trade of delusions and false miracles, deceiving the stupid multitudes. The mind that engages in subjects of too great variety becomes confused and weakened. While human ingenuity may devise various inventions to the same ends, it will never devise anything more beautiful, nor more simple, nor more to the purpose than nature does, because in her inventions nothing is lacking and nothing is superfluous. He is a poor pupil who does not go beyond his master. If you find from your own experience that something is a fact and it contradicts what some authority has written down, then you must abandon the authority and base your reasoning on your own findings. The worst evil which can befall the artist is that his work should appear good in his own eyes. He who truly knows has no occasion to shout. Having wandered some distance among gloomy rocks, I came to the entrance of a great cavern. Two contrary emotions arose in me, fear and desire. Fear of the threatening dark cavern, desire to see whether there was any marvellous things in it. It is an acknowledged fact that we perceive errors in the work of others more readily than in our own. Experience does not err. Only your judgments err by expecting from her what is not in her power. Men fight wars and destroy everything around them. The earth should open and swallow them up. He who does not value life does not deserve it. Never destroy another life through rage or through malice. A wave is never found alone, but is mingled with other waves. In time and with water, everything changes. The men of experiment are like the ant. They only collect and use, but the bee gathers its materials from the flowers of the garden and of the field, but transforms and digests it by a power of its own. People of accomplishment rarely sat back and let things happen to them. They went out and they made things happen.